Hello beautiful fire signs. This video is going to be for September of 2020. All of the energies that will be surrounding you and this would be for Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Okay. So these these videos um, work best with your rising sign. So if you don't know what your rising sign is, you can always go to Google and um, do your rising sign. Or if you come into my Periscope, you can just ask um, or you can message me on IG and I can tell you. Anyways, I wanted to give you your monthly energies. So let's see what the theme is for Leo. Leo Sagittarius um, and Pisces. Or my God, Leo Sagittarius and Aries. Leo Sagittarius and Aries. What general theme for the month of September is going on? What messages do they need for their highest good? moon okay so you're going to be stuck in your feels again this month i know last month i was saying that too um yeah it's going to be particularly difficult for you because mars isn't necessarily an energy that you're not used to um it's just it's going to be more inward this month for you guys um so definitely be aware of that um and be aware that the rest restlessness and the confusion that you're feeling is um is so that you can come up with a better battle plan um because it just feels like the way that you've been doing th things hasn't been working okay so we've got queen of wands energy here <clears throat> this is you oh um and anybody can be divine feminine energy it doesn't matter you can be male female this is just your divine feminine energy this is your business queen of wands is somebody who um who knows how to be everything to everyone um queen of wands is is strong in her boundaries um she creates her own business she's um definitely someone who who understands her power who's within her power who understands it um yeah page of swords be careful of what you're saying be careful of how you're guiding other people especially for my intuitives that are fire signs um ace of pentacles reversed is talking about um, this is not a time to like build and expand on your empire. This is a, a time to refine. This is a time to refine what you what you want. Um, don't listen to. There might be secrets going on around you. Um, you may be over socializing. Some of you may be um, caring way too much what other people think. Um, yeah, they're saying this nine of this nine of wands is defensive. You know, he's kind of looking over his shoulder, um, not really knowing where to go next. Um, and it's because he's in extremes. It's because that there's not there's a feeling of like wanting to make everybody happy, which is weird for fire signs. Like. It's, it's one way or another right now for you. And you're really struggling in that energy. Um, discernment is a big, big theme here. Discernment. Finding finding what's true for you. Not, what, not finding what's true for the general population. Um, because you're going... Like, because of all those secrets and lies that are going on, it's like I'm seeing you try to one-up these people. It's like trying to one-up their game or trying to one-up your thought process on the whole thing so that you can come out on the bigger hand. But in the meantime, you're not sleeping. So that's where the paranoia is coming in. And this is for some of you, this don't, doesn't resonate for everybody. Um, yeah, you're over, you're overwhelmed, overwhelmed in your feelings. Um, there's something that needs to crash down and you're not letting it crash down. And that's why you're not getting the results that you want. And you're overly emotional with what's going on, um, which is really odd for you because you're used to kind of pressing forward, pressing through, um, get, getting through those phases. But this is what the moon is all about. You know, the moon is all about um, divine feminine energy, you know, um, be accepting the dark side, accepting our shadow self. Um, it's okay. Okay, they're saying that you know, you know that your dreams are going to come true. You understand, you know that what you have is gold, but there needs to be balance first. Okay, there needs to be balance 
within your emotions as well. I feel like sometimes um, there can be an expectation or there can be an expectation or just like a feeling of like, I know what to do. Um, I don't understand why you're listening to me. Um, it's almost like an abrasive feeling going on. Um, people aren't going to like that. You're not going to come off well if, if you do that, you know, um, really make sure that you're, um, taking the time out to meditate every day and to get, come from a neutral space. Okay. Because with that Mars in retrograde, <sighs> some of you are walking away from, um, some of you are walking away from traditions that you've been doing your entire life. Um, some of you are starting from a clean slate. Um, yeah, some things are falling away. Traditional things are falling away for you. And it's like, I'm seeing you kind of like, what the fuck, you know? Um, yeah, this is not a time to worry about things falling away because a, a lot of the things that are falling away are in your highest good. It's just that you're kind of attached to them and you're having an issue of letting go. But these things, like, you're not meant to understand why those these things are happening right, right now. You're meant to just embrace it. You're meant to um, find your way through it. Um, because your way through it is what's going to be the key to moving forward in your life. Stop the inner judgment. All that inner judgment going on is not helping you. It's it's actually, it's like you're your own worst enemy right now um, when it comes to that. Honestly, this has been this has been a theme throughout all of the other three readings as well, but I really do truly feel like if you if you sit in your truth, okay, and you're not a bully about it. I'm not saying you're a bully, but for some of you, it's like you um you have a hard time between asserting yourself and yelling at somebody. <laughs> Which is totally fine. I'm a Sag moon, I get it. But um, but this is, this is the time to really, really stop, pause, get into your heart space and ask if it's worth it. Okay. Um, because in the end it's going to come out all garbled because you're like kind of stuck in this mental limbo. So you're not really going to get your point across like you want to, like you normally can, you know, you, it's like for some of you, I'm seeing a really sassy energy where you can fire back and you're fine, you know, but for this month it, it's changing up a little bit, you know? You're gonna find you're gonna find your way. I, I just want you to know, like Spirit is saying this very, very carefully. Just do not fight. Do not fight the uncertain. That's what I'm hearing in my head. Do not fight the uncertain. The more that you fight over what's going on in your life and your day to day, the more that you're not going to come into this energy. Okay, this month is meant to be confusing. This is not the year to like start start big and start on your business. It's like it's the year to really cultivate um where you're going with things and what's going to happen you know um cultivate and recalibrate yourself that's what i'm hearing cultivate and recalibrate all right let's do one more theme for the month of september for you fire signs sagittarius leo and aries what is another theme sagittarius leo and aries are going to face this month Aries. Okay. So yeah, it's just basically talking about, it's, it's keep talking about the Mars retrograde and because the Mars retrograde is in Aries, it's going to talk about willpower. Um, please, please, please just get back into your heart space when you feel super amped up um, because everyone's feeling it. It's not just you. Okay. They want you to hold your heart close this month. I know that's hard for some of you Leos. <laughs> And Aquarius, or um, for, yeah, for some of you Leos. Um, but they really, really want you. There's a lot of anxiety going on. There's a lot of uncertainty going on with you, okay? So they want you to be compassionate towards yourself and really understand where you're spending your energy on, who you're spending your energy on. Are they worth it? Do they want your highest good? Do you want their highest good? Um, is, is there an even exchange of energy going on for you? Um, you're really going to need to save your strength for what's coming up ahead. Um, don't get stuck in the melancholy feelings. I feel like they really, really want you to get into your childlike qualities. Aries has a it has a really great way of being able to do that and just let loose with Mars. So um, I would definitely like get into that energy, get into that 
um, strategy plan, get into like being ahead of being ahead of everybody else's game and surprising everyone because of your fire placement and the fact that you guys tend to be compulsive, not strategizing. Um, I feel like this is a month that could really, really end up in your favor if you want to keep going into those um, childlike adventures, childlike fun. Um, don't get stuck in the melancholy of the past. Okay, that's not what this month is meant for. All right. I hope that resonated with you guys. I love you very, very much, and I'm sure I will see you on Scope soon. Bye.